All right, the bird is the word as we are back for another game of inside pitch. Baseball, 1976 style. Mark Fidrich replay. This one is a home game against the Kansas City Royals that was played on June 16th, 1976. And ironically, we can't make this stuff up, folks, but his opponent is another bird, Doug Bird. So we have Doug Bird taking on Mark Fidrich. We got the bird against the bird. And again, both of these teams, uh, the coloration on their cards are almost identical, so I've really got to watch out. I guess the biggest thing that sets them apart is the Tigers down here and up here on the corners are in red, whereas the Royals are in blue, so maybe that will help somewhat to get that from being keep that from being confused. We will go through the starting lineups ultra quickly. And here's what we have. First for the Royals, it'll be Dave Nelson at second, Amos Otis in center. George Brett's playing short today. That's an interesting thing there. He didn't get many games at short, but he is today. And he's rated as a two with no error rating. So, you know, won't make an error, but might not get to much. Mayberry's at first, and McRae's in left. Salada is a DH. Tom Boquette is in right. Jamie Quirk is at third, and Buck Martinez is catching. For the Tigers, LaFleur, Garcia, Meyer, Staub, Thompson, Johnson, Rodriguez, Kim, and Scribner fill out the rest of the lineup. So we are ready to go. Last game, the Bird took the L, although he pitched very well. It took a 1-0 loss to the California Angels and Nolan Ryan. So we got out-dueled by Nolan Ryan. So we'll go ahead and get our score sheet in place and get everything set up the way it needs to be. We'll go ahead and raise this up just a hair so you can see everything. Hopefully. Keyword is hopefully. Uh, we'll keep Tiger Stadium here. And we'll bring Dave Nelson, the first batter, in the order. Let's bring everything up just a hair. So hopefully now everything is in view. If the Tiger Stadium is called for, I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see it. Right now it's just kind of there. So starting off is Dave Nelson against Mark the Bird Fidrich. 4-5 on Fidrich is blank, so we're going to Nelson's card. 1-5, that's a fly to left. One away. Brings up Otis, my man, Amos Otis. Famous Amos. 1-5 is a home run question mark off of Fidrich. Against the right-hander, it's only a 1-7, to seven. that's a 10, so it's going to fail that. We'll go straight to Otis's card. That's a 1-5. He's going to single past second. So base hit for Amos Otis. Now we'll check his attempt. He's a four attempt rating. So see if he can, uh, if he will do a steal or hit and run or if it's a nothing. It's a 12, so nothing going on there. So Otis is going to stay in pat. And that'll bring up George Brett. We've got two cards there together, stuck together there. Here's George Brett. You see, he did play shortstop. He is rated at short. So we'll see how that goes. 5-5 five, five on Fidrich is a possible K. It's a 13, and that's well above Brett's strikeout range. So we'll go to Brett's card. 1-4. It's a star line 3. It's ground ball to first, so potential double play. And he's a 2. Fidrich doesn't add anything to that. The shortstop pivot Scribner adds nothing either. So it's a 1 or a 2 for a double play. And it's a 2, so it is going to be a 3-6-3. Three, three. Turn by Thompson and Scribner. And the inning is over. So, nice job there by the Tigers turning that double play, giving Fidrich some defense behind him. And that'll bring up the bottom of the first, and Mr. Doug Bird. He'll be facing Ron LaFleur. 3-6 is a potential strikeout, and this is a 2, so that will be a strikeout. Let's see if I can't move the score sheet up a little bit. Now the home team is batting, so LaFleur is out of there. Here's Pedro Garcia. That is a 3-6 on Bird. 3-6 is a potential strikeout. 13, add one to the stadium to 14. That is a 13, so it's another strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts by Doug Bird. As Doug Bird is trying to outduel the Bird. Here's Dan Meyer. There'll be enough bird puns in this video, I'm sure. 
four six against the lefty is going to be a blank against the righty is a walk chance but against the lefty it's a blank go to Myers card five one as a fly to right and the first inning goes without incident no score we go to the bottom of the second and Fidrich back on the bump to face John Mayberry RFD don't know where Andy is or Aunt B but Mayberry's here 2-2, two, two, blank for Fidrich. Mayberry's card's a 1-5. That's a fly to right. On the way for Hal McRae, left fielder. 5-2 is blank on Fidrich again. So we go to McRae. 5-6 is a fly to center. Two down. Two up, two down. Here's Tony Salada. He uh, later would get traded to California, but right now he's with Kansas City. 5-6. Five, 5-6 six. Five, six is a potential error if there's a grounder. So we'll see if there's any kind of a ground ball. Salada, 2-6. There is a ground ball to second. So we're checking the error rating of the second baseman. And that is Garcia. He's an 11. That is a 7. So it is going to be an error. It will be an E4. E4 on Garcia. So... Inning's not over yet. Here's Paquette. Salada is only attempt rating if it's a hit and run, so he's not going to do anything. Here's Paquette. 4-4 four, four is blank again for Fedrich. He's got a lot of blanks on his card. 4-6 is a fly to right, and that's going to end the inning. So nothing doing. The air does not come back to hurt the Tigers. So now we will have the other bird. The other white meat. Here's Doug Bird. Facing Rusty Staub. 4-4. Four, four. Strikeout chance. And with that being a 1 on the D20, that is a strikeout. So Bird has struck out 3 of the 4 he has faced. Here's Jason Thompson. 5-3. Another strikeout chance. And he's going to get it because that's a 12. But you add 1 from Tiger Stadium making it a 13. So that is a strikeout. How about that? Four of the five he has faced have struck out. So we go to Alex Johnson. Five, six. Five, six is another strikeout chance. That's a nine. He will strike out. So Bird upstaging the other Bird. As he's pitching like a dirty Bird with some filthy stuff and striking out five of the six Tigers he has faced. So Doug Bird... Making his presence known here. Here's Jamie Minute Quirk. 2-4. Error if there's a throw necessary. Possible error if there's a throw. 2-5. It's a single to, to left field, so there's no, no throwing error needed. It's just going to be a single. No throw to make, I should say. So Quirk, again, he has an N on his attempt rating, so he can never steal. So he's not going to steal. But we will roll the D20 just to see if there's a pickoff. And there, <laughs> there's a chance for a pickoff right there at 20. All right, glad I didn't. I think I might have forgot that on an earlier bat. But the only pickoff Fidrich can have is a one, so not likely, and it's not. So we move on to Buck Martinez, 6 4. That's a double question mark, and against a right hander, 1 to 16 is a star line. That's a three, so there is a star line. We'll see which one. It's a five. It's ground ball to third. So, of course, now we have a potential double play. Martinez is a two. Fedrich is nothing, and second baseman Garcia is a nothing, so it's a one or two, and it's a one, so it will be a double play again. This is, I believe, I'm trying to figure if it was a four six. I remember what, don't remember what the roll was. I think it was a G. I think it was a star line five, if I'm not mistaken. Not that it really matters. It's either a five four three or a. Four six three. I don't remember which. I'm gonna call it five four three. I don't recall the roll off the top of my head. It's not important. I'm not doing fielding stats. The important part is there are two outs now with the bases empty. And here's Nelson. Five four. Fidrich. Range play. That's a four two. Star line one. Ground ball to second. So we got a range check on Garcia, and he's only a one, so not likely. <laughs> but he rolls a one and he gets it. How about that? 
So, got a little lucky on that one. And Mr. Garcia reached out and grabbed it. Secured it, throws it over to Thompson, innings over. Go to the bottom of the third. And the Tigers are going to see if they can do anything with Mr. Doug Bird besides strike out. 2-1 is blank for Bird. What Aurelio does, 6-2. Star line six, that is a fly to right. So one away. And it's going to bring up the personal catcher for Fidrich, Bruce Kim. One five is another strikeout chance. And he'll do it. It's a nine. And he has a nine. Tiger Stadium adds one, so it will be another strikeout. So how about that? Six strikeouts already and eight batters for Mr. Bird. Mr. Doug Bird, that is. 4-6. Got to clarify when I say bird. All right, it's a walk chance, and that's a 1, so it will be a walk. First base runner for the Tigers is a two-out walk to Scribner. And his attempt, he has to have a hit and run to go, so he's not going anywhere. But we'll roll the D20 just to make sure there's no pickoff. Try. There is not. So here's the 4. 6-4 six, is a range play. And that is a 4-5. Four and a five is a ground ball to second. So we're checking the range of Nelson, and he's a three. And it's a failed range play, so it will be a base hit. So we go to the runner advancement chart, S4. To get from first to third, you need to have a three or higher on your BR rating. Scrivener is a BR of three, so he will make it. Plus there's two outs, so you get a boost on that also. So Scribner now moves to third. Runners are at the corners. Now LaFleur's attempt rating is an eight, so something could certainly be going on there. And it is. He's going to attempt to steal. So he's a 15. Bird's hold rating is a plus one, which is not very good. So that bumps him up to a 16. Quirk is... Well, I didn't write down his arm rating. Why did I not write down Quirk's arm rating? No, I'm sorry. He's not the catcher. Martinez is. He's a zero. All right, so it's a 15 plus the 1 for Bird is a 16. So a 1 through 16, he will make it. And he does, so it's a stolen base. And that will put runners at 2nd and 3rd now. I hope I did that correctly with a runner on 3rd. I don't think you worry about him. I think you just, you just do the extra, actual roll and play it out. But uh, you know, could be wrong. I haven't done one with runners with a runner on 3rd at the same time. So hopefully that's not a factor. Here's Pedro Garcia now with two outs and two on. 5-2. It's an S1 if he's tired, but he's not tired. So we go to Garcia. Garcia, 1-6. is a star line 1. It's a ground ball to short, and the inning is over. So hopefully I didn't have to do any other considerations on there. If, if I played that incorrectly, somebody please tell me so I can, of course, improve on the rules. Try to improve every game. Learn something new and or solidify something I already thought I knew. So now we go to the fourth, and it's going to be Otis, my man, AO. 4-6, hit by pitch. Fitchers is a minus four. He's a six. Minus four makes that a two. That's an 18, no hit by pitch. Otis, 4-6, is a star line four. That is a ground ball to second. One away. Brings up George Brett, the shortstop. Sounds weird even saying that. 3-4 is a star line. So check what the star line is. It's a 6, so it is a fly to center. Or out number 2. Two quick outs. And that's one thing with this game. If you get good pitching matchups, the game could roll along pretty good. 5-3 against the righty would be a strikeout chance against the lefty is blank. So we've got Mayberry's card. 6-5, that's a star line 2, and that is a grounder to short. So the inning's over. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Still scoreless. Is neither team able to mount anything against either bird? That's Dan Meyer. That's a 3-2 on bird. Strikeout, since he's not tired, and that will be another strikeout for bird, so... The theme continues as Meyer is gone. Here's Rusty Staub. 6-2 is blank.
for birds. So we go to stops card. 2-2 two, two is a liner to short. It's out number two. Brings up Jason Thompson. 6-3 is a ballpark check. So first time we're looking at Tiger Stadium. It's a 6-4. Six, 6-4 six, is a single plus chance for a to turn it into a double. So let's see how that's going to play out. The S plus 7. And let's see, with two outs, do they want... He's a BR3, the right fielder. Poquette is a plus one arm. So that might help him a little bit. Uh, let me pause the video and get my rules out, because I don't remember the S plus 7 exactly. Okay, figuring out the BR rating of the runner. Thompson, three, and the arm of the right fielder. Paquette, plus one, makes him a four. So I'm going to roll 1d6. If it's a 1 through 4, he gets second base. If it's a 5, he stays. If it's a 6, he gets thrown out trying to stretch it. It's a 1, so he does stretch that, in fact, to a double. So Jason Thompson in scoring position with two outs. He's not going to try to steal, but we will roll to make sure there's no pickoff. And there's not. So here's Alex Johnson. 3-5 against Bird. is blank, so we go to Johnson's card. 6-6 six, six is a star line 6. That will be a fly to right. And the inning is over. So the Tigers threatened with a double, but it was a two-out double, so not a whole lot of chance to bring him home. And we're still scoreless as we go to the fifth. It'll be Hal McRae. Leaving things off against Fidrich, 6-4. That is a double question mark. It's a right-hander. It's a 1 to 16 for a star line. That's a 13, so it is an out. It's a 1. It's a ground ball to second. So Fidrich much better against righties because he gets a whole lot more outs against righties than he does lefties. Same with the home runs. So definitely platoon related. And that's what I like. I like. I really have a hard time playing any game that doesn't factor lefty-righty splits in, which is why I app a basic does you know leaves me from the Appa basic found I found it wanting because of the non lefty righty so using that merino board thing I think kind of helps a little bit with that here is Salada three six some people don't care but I, to me that's baseball I mean they've been caring about lefty righties for years so I don't know why we wouldn't do it as well all the decisions in the bullpen are that's why there's lefty relievers they're not there because they're good because they're because they're left handed. Look at Jesse Orozco, Exhibit A. All right, 3-6. He hung around for I don't know how long. He's in his 40s just because he was left-handed, even though he couldn't get anybody out. All right, so 3-6. That's enough of my rant. Uh, I guess the lefty is blank, so we're going to go with Salida. I found it better if I just play and not rant uh, and not give commentary on my feelings. 6-2 is a star line 3. That is a ground ball to first. Two down. I'm going to bring up Tom Poquette. Every time I see that, I think we want to leave the light on for you. 1-6 with Tom Bodette. 1-6 is a potential walk, but that's a 19, so there is no walk. 3-6 is a ground ball to second, and so three ground ball outs. And it's an easy fifth inning for the Bird. For the Bird Fidrich, not, the, not Doug Bird. Doug Bird's coming up. He's had a fairly easy time as well. And he'll be facing Aurelio Rodriguez. 6-1 is a range play at Tiger Stadium. So bring in Tiger Stadium once again. 6-1 is a home run to center field possibility. So let's see how that goes. Double check the rules on that one as well. Home run 8. Ballpark, make sure it's uh... okay. So the home run does not get changed at all by Tiger Stadium. Rodriguez's home run against right handers is a six. So I think we just have to roll a six to get a home run, but let me just make sure I'm not uh, assuming anything here. Possible home run, roll 1d20 versus the batter's home run rating for the side of the pitcher he faces. Rolls less than equal to the home run, it's a home run. 
higher than it is a fly out. That's what I thought. Okay, so Rodriguez is a six. Ballpark adds nothing, so it's a one to six for a home run. It's a five, so Rodriguez did, does it. Aurelio Rodriguez gets the home run, and the Tigers break through one to nothing. Here's Bruce Kim. Again, if I did that incorrectly by chance, please let me know. But that's just the way I'm reading the rule book. 1-1 one, one is a home run question mark. And Kim's a righty, but it's only a 1-8 to eight to get that home run. So it would be a 1-17 to 17 if he was tired, but he's not. So it's a 1-8, to eight, so that fails. So Kim's card, 6-2, is a double to right field. How about that? So all of a sudden here in the fifth inning, the Tigers are getting to Mr. Doug Bird. Lead off double. Here's Scrivener. Scrivener. We'll check to make sure there's no pick off. There's not. Scrivener. 2 6 home run chance. Scrivener's got a 6. That's a 2. That's a home run for Scrivener. So, how about that, folks? All of a sudden, Mr. Doug Bird has lost it. He has flown the coop. And it's 3 0 Tigers. Royals might have to get some bullpen activity going because he just all of a sudden just lost it. 1-1 one, one is another home run question mark, but 12 is out of the range, so we'll keep it going. 2-6. It's a single to center. So I'm sorry, to left, so LaFleur gets a base hit. And again, he's a threat to steal. We've seen before he's an attempt to 8, so let's see if he can get the... And he does, it's, a nine, it's a hit and run. It's 9, so it's a hit and run for Pedro Garcia at bat. So Garcia's at bat. We're doing roll it like a normal at bat. 3-4 is blank. So we go to Garcia's card. 5-2. Five, 5-2 two. Five, two is a line out to third. This could be a double play because it was a hit and run. Check the rules on that and see what's going to happen here. Let me pause this while I check out. Oh, here we go. Hit and run. Got it right here. Uh, let's see. All lineouts are double plays. Yes. Okay, so I don't have to check it. If it's a lineout, it's a double play. So that is a 5-3 to three double play. 5 unassisted, 5-3 double play for out number 2. So, unfortunately, Garcia hit it hard, but right at Quirk. Throws over Mayberry, catches LaFleur off the bag, and the inning is... Well, there's now two outs. It's not the inning over. Here's Meyer. 6-1, range play at Tiger Stadium. Four six as I drop my ink pen. Don't know how to do that. Hard to keep score without it. Four six. Four six is a single to center, so that double play really comes into play. And Bird's still struggling. Here's Rusty Staub. Bullpen is active. Steve Mangori, lefty, is in the bullpen for the Royals. Six four is a range play. And that is a 6-3. It's a star line 4. Star line 4 is a ground ball to 3rd. Quirk's range is a 2. That's a failed range play. So since it's down the line, we've got to see if it's a single or a double. It's a single. So a single there. And I believe going from 1st to 3rd on a single to left is a minus 2 on the BR rating. There are 2 outs, so it's, you gain 1, so it's a minus 1 aggregate. Myers run rating, BR rating, is a 2. So he has to have a 1 or less. We can't be less than 1. <laughs> Had to be a 1 for him to go. He didn't, so he will stay at 2nd. And Jason Thompson, the batter. Bird. On the ropes here. 4-4. Four, four. Strikeout chance. But it's too high on the D20, so no strikeout there. The strikeout magic was gone. Here's 6-3. That is a against a righty. That's a ground ball to first, so it's going to end the inning. So Thompson must have some reverse splits because against the lefty, that would have been a base hit. But as it is, it's a three-run inning for the Tigers. Two home runs, one by Rodriguez and one by Scrivener. Not exactly the most likely candidates, but they send eight to the plate. And three of them score. So we go to the sixth. Tridrich giving a 3 nothing lead to protect. 6-1 is a potential walk if it's a righty, but it's blank against the lefty. 
quirk, 2-4. That's a fly to right. So one away for Buck Martinez. 2-3 is a strikeout chance against a righty. And that's a 4, so that will be a strikeout for Fidrich. So Fidrich, that's actually his first strikeout of the game. So unlike the other bird, he wasn't striking guys out. He was just getting them out on contact. Sorry about bumping that. 6-6, six, six, blank for Fidrich. Nelson, 2-6, star line 4. That is a ground ball to second. And the inning's over. So we go to the bottom of the 6th. And we'll see if uh, Mingori is going to come in or they're going to stick with Doug Bird. I think they're going to stick with Doug Bird because he's facing a couple of right-handers. But Mingori is ready if needed. Johnson, 4-1. And that is a potential error on a ground out. If there's a ground out. Or ground ball, I mean. 5-3. Star line 4. There is a ground ball. It's ground ball to third. So we're checking the error rating of the third baseman, Quirk. And he's got an E20, so that is an error. So E5 right off the bat. So each team now with an error. Brings up Aurelio Rodriguez Johnson. His attempt rating is a 4, so we'll see if anything happens on that. And it does. He's going to attempt to steal. So he's got a 12 for a stolen base. And it's at one. you add 1 to it for Bird, makes it a 13. We already know the catcher is a 0. So 1 to 13, and he makes it. So it's a stolen base. Stolen base for Alex Johnson. Gets him in scoring position with nobody out for Aurelio Rodriguez. We'll check for a pickoff. There is none. Rodriguez, 2-4. That is the ballpark. So we go to Tiger Stadium. 1-6 is a star line 5. That's a fly to left. And we'll check runner advancement on a fly to left with the runner at second. Run on second, fly to left, no advance. So there's one away for Bruce Kim. Again, we'll make sure there's no pickoff. There is not. It's Kim. 2-6. Two 2-6 six. Two six is a home run chance, but he's only a 3 and that's an 8, so no home run. Good Kim's card, 3-1 is a ground ball to short. We're out number two, and I believe the runner has to hold on this. We shall see. Ground out to short. Runner in second. BR beats a 1D6 roll. So the BR rating of Johnson is a three. So if this is less than three, he will move to third. He does not. He has to hold. So two down for Chuck Scrivener, and he hit that unlikely home run last time. Nothing on the Pick off. 3 1. Potential wild pitch, but his wild pitch rating is zero, so there's no wild pitch. Rolled again on Bird. 6 3 is a ballpark chance. Back to Tiger Stadium. 4 1. Single to right plus. So we got a single here. And I imagine Johnson's going to score, but we'll do some checking. Johnson's BR rating is a three. There are two outs. The right fielder, Boquette, adds one to that. So we got a three plus one plus one makes it a five. And let's see here. Do you add more than that? Let's see on the right. Yeah, another one on top of that. So that's a six. So he's not even going to make the throw to home. He's going to score automatically. Lead up to a six. And now we'll see if Scrivener can get the extra base. Scrivener BR is a 3. The arm rating is a 1, so it's a 1 through a 4 to make it. And he does, so Scrivener ends up with a double. And it's now 4 to nothing in favor of the Tigers. For Ron LaFleur. And Scrivener cannot go anywhere. He's got an H by his name. Probably the last batter that Berg is going to get to face. They're going to try to get him through the inning. 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two is a strikeout chance, and it will be a strikeout. And the inning is over. So, one run is in. It's unearned. But that doesn't matter. But that's going to do it for Bird. He's going to be gone from the game going forward. And Mingori will be take over as the new relief pitcher. 
in the bottom of the seventh. Right now, the other bird, though, is still flying high. As he's got four runs of support to work with. And he's going to be facing Amos Otis, famous Amos. So, famous Amos. Lead things off. 1-1 one, one is a strikeout chance, and he's going to get the strikeout. So that's one away. That's strikeout number two on the game for Fidrich. So not really a strikeout pitcher. He's more just want to get him out type pitcher. Here's Brett. 3-2. Blank for Fidrich. 4-1. Against a right-hander is a single past second base. Sorry, I want the stand again. I'm trying to play around the stand. That can be a little bit unnerving. Um, he's an attempt of three, but they're down four to nothing, so I'm going to bypass that. And actually, by rule, you can do that because the score differential is four. Any number is seven. You're above ten, so we ignore that and go straight to John Mayberry. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I think we're supposed to roll the potential pickoff, but so nothing happened there. Six one is a is blank on Fedrick, so we're going to Mayberry. Whoa, that D20 went way out there, didn't it? 3-6. Three, 3-6 six. Three, six is a star line 5. Star line 5 is a ground ball to third, so we've got to check a double play. He's got a double play rating of 2. Nobody else has anything. It's a 4, so it's a fielder's choice, 5-4. to four. And Mayberry reaches, but now there are two outs for Hal McRae. Got a fielder. Uh, let's make sure there's no pickoff on Mayberry. Oh, there's a 20. So the only way he gets picked off is a roll of one. So no one. So McCray is up. 5 2, blank for Fidrich. 5 6 is a fly to center field, and that's going to end the inning. So Fidrich shutting them out through seven. It's a very good royal lineup, and Fidrich is in charge. All right, so Steve Mangori, the lefty. We'll go ahead and write him in. He will be coming on to pitch here in the top, uh, bottom of the seventh. He'll be facing Pedro Garcia, a righty, and then several lefties in a row in Meyer, Staub, and Thompson. 2-5 against a lefty would have been a star line. Against a righty, it's blank. Go to Garcia, 5-1, ground ball to short. But right there you can see where Mingori is tough on lefties. So here's Dan Meyer. 3-2, three, 3-2. Three, Go to the ballpark. It's a Tiger Stadium. 6-5 is a ground ball to second. Two down. That will bring up Rusty Staub. 5-3. Potential hit by pitch. He's a plus 7 on his hit by pitch. Staub's already a 7. That's a 14, so he is hit by the pitch. So Rusty Staub gets plunked. He's not going to try to steal, but we'll, we'll check for a pickoff, and there is none. So now lefty Jason Thompson is up. 5-1 is a strikeout chance, and against the lefty, it's a 13, so he strikes out. Innings over. We go to the eighth. It's still four nothing Tigers, and uh, Fedrich still looking pretty good to go all the way here. He can face thirty four batters, and so far he's only faced twenty three. So he's definitely in good shape there. So here is Salada to start the eighth. Five one is the ballpark. So we bring in Tiger Stadium. 4-6, and that's a single to center field. But again, we're, the, the innings and the point spread differential is greater than 10, so plus salada has got an H, so he's not going to go anywhere anyway. We will roll the D20 just to make sure there's no pickoff. There's not. So Poquette, the batter, 4-1 four, four on Fidrich is a potential wild pitch, but it's a 1-10 to 10 for a wild pitch, 11-13 to 13 for a pass ball. That's a 15, so... No wild pitch. We go back to Fidrich. 2-4. Potential strikeout. And it will be a strikeout because it's a 2. So Fidrich gets his third strikeout. 
like I said, he's not a strikeout pitcher. Only struck out 97 in 250 innings. So he's not really a strikeout pitcher. No pickoff. Here's Quirk, 6'4". And that's a double question mark. But it's a 1-5 to five against the lefty Quirk. Had he been facing a righty, that 14 would have made a star line out of this. But since he's facing a lefty, it's a 1-5. to five. Quirk avoids it. Go off his own card, 5-6. It's a pop to second. Two down. And here's Buck Martinez. Again, we'll roll, no pickoff. 5-1, back to the ballpark. Tiger Stadium. 6-4, six, 6-4 four. Six, four is a single plus to left field. Well, the runner at first in front of him, Salada may not be able to go to third, so he wouldn't get the extra base chance anyway. He's only a one BR rating. You add one because there's two outs makes him a two, but then going from first to third on a single to left is a minus two, so Salada can't go anywhere. And they're down by four, so why take the chance anyway? So runners are at first and second with two outs for Dave Nelson. And the Royals might decide to pinch hit for Nelson. He's 0 for 3. He hasn't really done anything. And they could use a better bat, perhaps. Let's see who they might want to turn to. They're going to use Al Cowens. So Al Cowens will pinch hit for Nelson. And then the bottom of the eighth, Cookie Rojas will take over at second base. So Al Cowens will be the pinch hitter. And then Rojas takes over at second base. Rojas is a 2-0-0. Zero, zero. So right now we are looking at Al Cowens with two on and two outs. So it's a big at bat here. There's no pickoff to worry about. Big at bat for Fidrich and the Tigers. 6-6 six, six is blank on Fidrich. You go to Cowan's card. 1-3. That is a fly to center and the inning is over. So Cowan's fails in his pinch hitting task. And just for kicks and giggles, that 1-3 on Nelson's card would have been a single to right field. So my mistake there, obviously, <laughs> in pinch hitting, but I was playing the percentages, and it just that time didn't work out. Sometimes they work out, and sometimes they don't. All right, so Mangori back out there. I think I actually know what. They're going to have a new pitcher because the righties are coming up, and Mangori is a lefty specialist. So we're going to go to the bullpen, and they're going to go to... I believe Tom Bruno. So Tom Bruno is in. Not a very good record, but when you're down four nothing in the eighth, you don't usually bring in your better pitchers. You usually bring in some of the also rans. So I'm gonna try to keep to that philosophy. So Bruno is in. He'll be facing Alex Johnson to lead off the eighth. Five six on Bruno is a potential walk, but it's a 17, so no walk. Johnson, 4-5, is a single pass short. So Johnson leads off with the base hit. Again, no stealing because of the differential. But we will check for pickoff just to be on the safe side. It's a 20, so, but there's no pickoff chance here. It's a chance of a balk, though, 1-9. to nine. And there's a 6, so there's a balk. So how do you like that? He balks. And like I said, if I'm not supposed to check the... Uh, pick off when there's when the score is out of hand. Please let me know because that wouldn't have been a balk had I done that. But all right, we'll check on the pickoff again. There's nothing. So here's Rodriguez, three four. Error if there's a throw necessary. Six one is a single pass second. So there's no throw necessary unless the runner tries to score. Let's see here. Johnson his BR rating. It's a three, and on an S4, to go from second to home, all you have to have is a two to six. So he's going to score. There's no throw even made, so there's no error on the throw. And the Tigers lead it five to nothing. Here's Bruce Kim. Again, we'll roll to make sure there's no pickoff. 
Matt, here's Kim. 2-5. Blank for Bruno. 6-6 six, six is a ground ball to third. Potential double play. He's got a double play rating of 2. Bruno's a plus 2. That makes it a 4. So we got a 4. 1-4 to four for a double play. And that's just the way it's going for the Royals. It's a runner advance. So, runner advance will be a 5-3 ground out with the runner moving to second for Scrivener. No pickoff. Scrivener against Bruno. 4-5. Blank for Bruno. Scrivener. 5-3. Fly to center. Now, does the runner advance on that ball? Subtract three from the BR rating. The BR rating on Rodriguez is a two, so he's negative, so he's not going to go anywhere. There's two away for Ron LaFleur. Three, five. Bruno, three, five, potential strikeout. It's a 16. You add one from Tiger Stadium. Makes it a 17. That is a 17, so it is a strikeout. And the inning's over. One run does come in. So it's a 5-0 ball game as we go to the top of the ninth. Fidrich's still in good shape to finish this one out. He is good for 34 batters. So far, he's faced 28. So unless he gets into trouble, he will be okay to finish this. And in case he does get into trouble, Steve Grilly is in the bullpen warming up. But right now, looks like he may not be needed. Here's Otis, Amos Otis. 5-1 is a ballpark check. 4-2. Four, 4-2 two. Four, two is a G2, so it's a ground ball in front of Kim. Fires to Thompson, one away. Brings up George Brett, who's been quiet on the day. I take it back, he did single last time. He's one for three. 5-4 is a range play. 6-4, question mark 9, so a question mark 9 and a 20 is a fly to right, but now we're doing a range play. Stobbs only a 1, so this is going to probably be a failed range play. And it is, so now we need to see if it's a single or a double. It's a 3, so that will be a single on a failed range play. So Brett reaches his second hit of the game. And again, he's not going anywhere, but we will check for potential pickoff. There is none. There's Mayberry. 4-5 is blank for Fidrich. Mayberry, 4-2. Fly to left. Two down. One out to go. It's Hal McRae. No pickoff. Here's Hal McRae. 4-2, blank. I'm sorry, 4-2 is a... You know what? I picked it up. I, I was reading 3-2 thinking it was a blank. It was a strikeout chance. Now his strikeout chance would have been a 7. And I don't remember what the 20 was. So I'm going to have to re-roll the hole with that, I think. 1-2. It, well, it goes back to a strikeout, but it's 11, so it's higher than that. So we go to McCray's card. 1-2 is a single pass short. So maybe I gypped Fidrich out of a strikeout. I don't know. Single pass short. At six, you need a five or a six to go to third, so that's not going to happen. Brett's going to stay at second. So runners are at the first and second with two outs for Tony Salada. They're just trying to get that last out. It's a one-four against Salada. Against a lefty, one-four is a star line, so this will be the out that he needs. It's a two. Grounded to short. Innings over. Ball game's over. Shut out in the books, five to nothing for the Tigers. They won the game in real life, four to three. This one, Fidrich pitches a shutout. So there you have it, Bird versus Bird, and the Bird Fidrich outduels the Bird Doug as the Tigers win it by the score of five to nothing. And the man of the hour, there he is, Mr. Fidrich. He gets the victory. He will move on to his next assignment, which will be a game in Minnesota taking on the Twins. And the Twins will send Bill Singer against him. So it's Bird against Singer next round from Minneapolis. Till next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, I would choose to play it, and I will see you all down the road.